What's up guys, Express here, I'm back with another video. Now this time we have another tutorial. Something different, we have another text style kinda, it's the liquefied text. I thought, let's make my own spin on it, like I did with the glitch effect, but I couldn't really find something that I can really stand out all of the rest, because it's liquefied text, like how, how can you do it differently than everyone else? So I thought, let's do it my way, I guess, simple, quick, and fast, I have a couple of tips and tricks uh, from Express, of course. Make a new layer and fill that puppy in with a black background, like so. Now what you want to do is just take your text tool and type whatever you want. I'm going to type liquify, here you go, put that on white. Uh, what font, I'm just uh, using a simple Arial font, but you can use whatever font you want. Put that in the middle and a bit high. Okay, you want to control J, you'll see that on the screen as well. Very handy, I think. Very handy. And then control T, move that a bit down. Well, not that down. And I'm holding shift. And drag that all the way down all the way down and then all the way up so it's so it's just perfectly connected um, to each other then this is a bit of a problem but we'll look at that okay you want to go to filter and go to filter liquify and then here you have your uh, long text i want to just make it maybe a bit smaller um holding alt and, and the right mouse button to make it smaller or you can also just make the size smaller so you want to just make something like this and then i would do the other side like so i think that would fit pretty well okay i'm gonna make it a bit bigger and then i'm going to move the whole thing okay press ok and then you have something like this okay then you want to go above all layers and go to color or lookup okay and you see here you have a couple of things if you use horror blue, you'll see the um, liquify is given a blue effect. So just want to get the smudge tool and smudge literally everything. Maybe smudge that to there so it makes a bit more sense. And then smudge the rest of it, of course. And like the bottom part, you want it the most smudged because I don't know, it's just the bottom part. I think that will look the best. Just do it, make it maybe a bit bigger. I made sure that this part doesn't go outside. The, oh, with, just with the smudge tool, you wanna just go over it and make sure like it goes on it pretty well. Select these two layers, Control J and then Control E. And then you have a duplicate. You wanna go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Any blur that maybe, um, seven like that pretty nice like it has an outer glow as well and you want to put that below everything maybe on top what looks better i think on top is better yeah, yeah. you want to then select the text again and then ctrl j again ctrl e again i'm gonna go to filter blur radial blur click on zoom maybe 53 click ok and you'll have something like this and i think that looks pretty sick not gonna lie and then what you want to do is go to hue and saturation and change the color to whatever you want. I'm just gonna change it to more um, light blue and then I'm gonna take a brush, pretty big. I'm just gonna color out some parts that I don't like. Then I wanna go to hue and saturation again and change the color to a more darker blue and also and then go over to some parts that you don't like. Or maybe a green, green will fit as well, I think. Like so. Okay, I'm gonna merge everything we just have. Select everything by holding in shift, and Ctrl J, Ctrl E that. Okay, what you wanna do is Ctrl J that again go to filter and noise add some noise add about a five on noise what you can also do is just select everything ctrl e everything so it's one uh, layer you can also go to brightness and contrast you can see i just lower the bright uh, lower the brightness a bit and pop out the contrast a bit you want to go also also go with the vibrance pop the saturation and the vibrance a bit merge those again ctrl e then ctrl j again and go to filter noise and add some more noise so the background is also a bit noised merge the two together ctrl j again and you can go to filter camera roll fill pop out the colors you go to contrast you pop that up you put exposure a bit up the highlights a bit up as well the shadow is a bit down and the blacks also a bit down okay then you want to go to color mixer and that is where you can uh, change the colors to whatever you want you can change them to a bit more uh, purplish feeling Pop them out a bit more. There you go. You can also go to calibration. And then if you change this, you can also pop out the colors a bit more. Changing the red. 
okay then you can also go to presets and then if you, if you go to a uh, high contrast and detail or vivid i think it also has a nice effect to it it's whatever you think looks better i think high contrast and details gives it a, an, another another feeling to it merge them two together again and i think you have a nice liquify effect but this is basically it what i did with this liquify also you can add some textures so if you want to do that go to my pay hip store and go find my process pack there you go open that up and go to textures and you have this texture put that on this liquify effect like so and put that on a um, screen or lighten uh, if you have any tutorial that you would like to see let me know in the comments down below i will happily uh, know what you guys want to see and uh, yeah leave a like comment do more if you want and i'll see you guys next time. Open up your eyes.